So you know how I thought an intersection would end this crazy line? Nope. What's up guys, David here once again for another video and I'm with Jeff. My name is Jeff. <laughs> Jeff, I would have to say you're probably like one of my most loyal subs ever. Because oh, yeah. So I met him on Xbox because in Forza 5 we had like a subscriber meetup on there. We became friends ever since. Yeah. And you've grown a lot as a car person. You had your Mini Cooper and then now you have a brand spanking new WRX in red, which is pretty rare. Can you say your first world problem you just told me? I'm tired of looking at McLaren 720s. <laughs> oh, so sad. It came out like two months ago. Oh my god. It's, it's... Okay, there is an exotic um, in Lamborghini Broward. There's an exotic meet that they do once a month. And when the 720s's came out, there was six lined up, <laughs> all parked next to each other. It's like, oh, okay, there's not one, not two, not three, but there's six. See, I think there's some big hubs of car culture in the United States, like New York, LA. Florida, Atlanta, stuff like that. But then the rest of the United States doesn't have almost any. So when you hear him go, I'm tired of McLaren's, you're like, dude, just shut your mouth. Jeff, your car looks really nice. Thank you. It really does. So we have made it to, is it Ferrari at Fort Lauderdale? Ferrari at Fort Lauderdale. Oh yeah, it's gonna be awesome. I wish I was here longer, guys. I apologize if you're watching this now, going, why didn't you stay longer? But it was because of the Fonzie video I did last time. So we did the Fonzie thing and then I had to now I have to go back to Atlanta after today, but at least I get a nice treat. This is a nice surprise today. Yeah. I'm stoked. Check it, check it, check it. There's a Ford GT over there? Yeah, the white one. Oh my god! Jeff, I've literally been to hundreds of car shows and there's cars here that I've never seen before. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna walk down the line. Wawa Roadster, Aventador S. We've got a Veyron Roadster. Wire again. This isn't a car, but it's a cute dog. Oh, it's an MC12. I've never seen one of these either. And for a GT. The new 720S, Jeff? Yes. That sir. you're sick of? The one of six. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, can we have these in every city? That'd be great. This is the ultimate line of first world problems. <laughs> GT3 RS, AMG GTS, Gran Turismo, Aventador. Oh, the new Pepper Monte's here as well. <laughs> wings on wings on wings. Aventador SV, Aventador Not SV. Funny, man. I <laughs> just one Aventador SV, my bad. Second Pepper Monte. So not only have we found a third Performante, there's a Diablo here. It's a fixed headlight Diablo. I never see these. Isn't that 300ZX? <laughs> Stop that right now. Dude, it just doesn't end. Oh, this is gonna sound very pretentious and spoiled, but after touring Lambo and Pagani in Italy, seeing it on the street is incredible again. Well, we found one FF. I think it's safe to say if you just want to come see supercars, just come to Fort Lauderdale and you're good. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, you'll see every single one in one spot. How rare is that? Except for you people who live here. I don't want to hear it. 360 Modena. Alongside with the first F12 in the lineup in blue. We've seen a few old Ferraris, but you know what we haven't seen? Gallardos. We haven't seen a single Gallardo, which is probably for a reason. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. I don't think we will, though. Before Nardo Gray was hyped. I've actually never seen the 488 in blue. Looks really good. Gallardo. Finally found one, but it's the last gen. Another Aventador SV. I like this kid. Yeah, this kid actually looks really good. God dang, it just does not stop. Oh, so I saw the Aventador Pirelli edition at Geneva one year, and I was like, so what's different? <laughs> but it's still really cool. It has the stripes in the front, a few other different things. So you know how I thought an intersection would end this crazy line? Nope. It's like this make me think one of two things. One, wow, it's actually possible to get a supercar. How amazing. The other side is, how come I haven't done it yet? <laughs> Am I really not that successful? The light yellow like flake into it. Sort of like two-tone. 
It's interesting for sure. <gasps> Look at this Diablo. Look at it. Does it get more Miami than this? Not lazy, huh? This Rolls Royce got its swagger with the teddies in the back. Bro, <laughs> look at them chilling. <laughs> How is there another Performante? Holy crap. See what I mean? Like these cars just came out. How many have we seen so far? Four? Five? Something like that? Oh look, another SV. Oh look, a Bentley. I think we found some American cars, finally. Finally. Got a Viper back here too. The ACR is no joke. Austin, it's my birthday! I'm sure Thank it is. You. Jeff, speaking of Forza, I feel like I'm just scrolling through my Forza garage, <laughs> Forza. like on my game. Tell me another place where you could see two ACRs parked in a row. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I see a car in the distance that should not be here in Florida. Let me go see it. Brian, is that you? Porsche GT4, Porsche, Porsche, Porsche. If you weren't impressed with the rarity of the R34, I got something else for you. An SSC Ultimate Aero. I haven't seen one of these in like six years. Here's the motor of the SSC, which almost nobody really gets to see because you never see them. It's a lot of C's. <laughs> Pretty cool stuff. I'm sure my viewers will really appreciate this guy. Perfectly clean NSX. I know a lot of you guys aren't into supercars and that's totally okay, but sometimes it's fun to appreciate the craftsmanship and appreciate how rare these things are sometimes. So as you guys know, I'm more of a tuner car guy, but seeing exotic cars and driving them is a very special thing. If you've never done it before, come to a rally like this, at least come and see them, and then you can appreciate it and go, oh, that's why it's so rare. It's really fun. Wait a minute. Out of all the numbers to pick, you pick that one? Check it out, a Panos. Up oh, another Panos. Well, we have finally gotten to the end of the line. That's easily what? Three fourths of a mile? <laughs> How about that? probably one of my favorite surprises of a spontaneous trip ever so I want to thank Jeff for showing me that it's it was pleasure. freaking amazing how many cars we saw and thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time take it easy don't forget to subscribe I upload every Monday Wednesday and Saturday so remember that have a good day goodbye Apple Maps they're working on it to make it better <laughs> maybe not drive me into a cliff next time Apple Maps get your together. <laughs>